Hi, everyone. My name's Julian. I'm the executive producer for Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. Ready? Here you see Alpha and Bravo. These are the two new characters in The Devil's Cartel. Rios, we're inside. Get up to the roof. We got wounded up there waiting for extraction. Copy that. I think they got room for two more? Let's get there. The story begins with TWO taking on a mission to protect the mayor of La Puerta. He's made it his mission to, to bring down the cartels, and they've made it their mission to bring down him. Alpha is a veteran of multiple armed conflicts in the U.S. military and special forces. Bravo, he served one tour in the U.S. Army and decided that Damn it. military life was Can't not for him. Uh, but he definitely had a talent for the work. Get over it. The only way. Right here. Come on. Destruction is fun, but it also has a gameplay impact. You might get behind cover, and your enemies may shoot that cover up and actually destroy it, and you'll have to find new cover. You can do the same thing to them. If a heavy gets behind cover and he's just laying down a barrage of fire for you and your partner, you can concentrate on that cover with grenades or heavy weapons and destroy the cover for that enemy, and then take him out when he's in the open. The enemy you face in the game is the cartel, and they're very tough. Moving cover to cover, doing co-op moves, these are going to be the only way that you can take them down. But when it gets too tough, you're going to be thankful that you've been earning overkill points for doing all of those co-op maneuvers. The more cooperative it is, the more points you get. And when you have enough points, and when the enemies are swarming you and you think there's no other way to survive, you're going to trigger overkill, and you're going to have massive firepower at your disposal. Visceral is proud to take on Army of Two. Got a new studio, new team, new engine in Frostbite 2. It takes place in a new setting. Hey, what's keeping Mexico. you guys? The ran into some of this. We're almost there. The game takes place in a variety of settings inside of Mexico. Uh, you're going to be in small spaces and big wide open areas, inside and outside. It's going to take place at different times of day. The weather's going to be a factor. Frostbite 2 makes all of this possible and makes it look gorgeous. The Visceral development team in Montreal is new, but also includes veterans from Dead Space and the original Army games. Frag out. Yeah, man! Looks like we have to go over to get through. Let's get to it. We were asked once, you know, their step jump's really fun, and it's more what they have to do with the, you know, the story and the, and the mission design. Um, being able to step jump is, is not that dramatic a feature, but being able to split the players up, potentially, you know, putting one up high, one down low, that can make a big difference in the, the way you lay out a level.
there's still an aggro meter under the hood, and we found that the enemy behavior, the barrage of fire destroying the world all around you, it makes it obvious that you have their undivided attention. In this hands-on demo for press, we made the enemies easier and reward overkill points much faster than in the final game. Let's go! I'm sure you guys are making a lot of new friends, but you gotta keep moving. Just a little setback. We're on our way. Lead on. Chopper incoming. You girls ought to keep your heads down. When you do cooperative behaviors, the game is going to notice those and we're going to award you points for them. If you're both shooting at the same player, if you take all the aggression from the enemies to help your partner flank them, uh, all those special cooperative, coordinated uh, moves are going to give you both overkill points. And when you have enough points, you're going to be able to trigger overkill whenever you want. This is a feature that's similar to back-to-back -to -back from the previous games, but you get to trigger it wherever you want. The girl's just about done in there. Get to the roof. incredibly lethal. When you're in overkill, you're incredibly lethal. You're going to probably jump out of cover, and you're going to charge right at them. Cartel is skipping on the body armor. I guess the pay is better. My gunner is down, and the LZ is too hot. I, I, I can't land. We got to go. We'll breach the door. Let's clear the LZ. And my mark, go. LZ is clear. Roger that. Coming in now. Wounded are on the other roof, right? Affirmative. Pretty hot over there, too. One of us mans the guns. Clears the roof. The other stays on foot. Takes out our PG. All right. We're good. Go. Got to cover. By two, we had Army of Two up and running quickly and looking great. This allowed us to concentrate on developing deep tactical co-op and destroying everything in the world from the smallest to the largest items. Frostbite 2 is evolving. As each game team makes improvements, those improvements find their way into all of the games. Army of Two is different from other co-op games in that Army is designed from the ground up to be co-op. The entire co-op campaign is missions where both players have very unique objectives that they have to complete. Your partner in Army is always essential to finishing the mission. 
So whether you're playing on the couch or you're playing co-op online, you definitely need to cooperate and communicate with your partner to get the missions complete. Got any ideas? Keep the cartel busy. I'll find a way. I see my guys. Looks like they're pinned down. Cartel chopper! I think you can see by now that even though the setting is serious, this game plays out like an action blockbuster, and it'll keep you on the edge of your seats throughout the whole game. On my way! Bravo! Report! Bravo! Report! Nice one, buddy. <laughs> Woo! There it is! Take out the pilot! Enjoyed the walkthrough. You'll be able to get your hands on it March 2013.